What's going on, everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you part two of the Mimics series. In part one, base coated and pretty much finished up the wooden areas of the models. Uh, obviously, we have two Mimics here from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures and WizKids Games. We have the treasure, tre the treasure Chest Mimic, and we have the what I've been calling the Whiskey Barrel Mimic. Both pretty cool pieces, uh, relatively small, um, and because uh, I do want to go at these with a non-metallic metal on the metallic portions, um, I decided to do the wood first and finish the wood in its entirety before I jumped in and did the, uh, the metal pieces. In this part, part two, I'm going to be bringing the Whiskey Barrel Mimic up to full completion, including the silver non-metallic metal around the barrel and the face. And then in part three, you're going to shift gears and do the same thing on the treasure chest. Uh, before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. And here we are on the Mimics, so let's get going. All right, so as you can probably see, I have all, I have gone in and I've actually reprimed the metallic portions of the whiskey barrel because I was doing a fair amount of dry brushing and I got a fair amount of dry brushing on the metallic portions, so wasn't overly careful there. Um, so I went ahead beforehand and I reprimed it. Now what I've done is I've taken a, um, a mix of black, heavy blue, and heavy blue gray. And I worked it up to a, about a charcoal-ish kind of um, kind of color and I'm going to be using this as a base coat on pretty much all of the metal portions. So right here I'm painting over the whole portion of the metallic area, even though some of this is the eyes. I'm just kind of getting everything to ensure that I don't miss anything. So there we go with the base coat. Now we're going to go ahead and move into the mid-tones there. So sticking with the same size brush, I'm going to be adding some mid-tones to the figure of this portion. I'm going to be kind of touching up, giving a mid-tone virtually around the whole thing. Running this shine along the areas where it curves.
just want to take the smaller brush and really focus on the edges of the the rings here. I'm going to be getting a little finer as far as the coat that I'm using. And here I'm just using a touch more heavy blue gray. So there we are so far. Now I want to use a little pure heavy blue gray. Heavy blue gray by itself. Now I'm going to go around very subtly, just start applying kind of 
flecks of white. One thing I definitely want to try to do is give the um, the metal some tones to make it look like the surface is reflective. So I'm going to try to do that now. So to add some tones to the metal portions, I'm actually going to take some blue ink and dilute it just a little bit, and I'm going to run it over some of the darker areas of the of the metal. All right, I kind of like it so far. So what I'd like to do now is start base coating the gums and the tongue. And what I'm gonna use for that is a heavy violet. For that to dry, I'm gonna give his eyes kind of a uh, little base coat as well. And for the eyes, I'm gonna be using just a touch of orange fire. Leave that alone for now and move on to the eyes again. What I'm going to do here is take some of my bronze flesh tone that I used as a dry brush on the wood and I'm going to try to Create almost like a point of light. Yeah, actually looking pretty decent so far.
like a little bit of a purple glaze and mix it in on the uh, metal here. That's pretty sweet. I think the teeth here, I want to just kind of go over them lightly with um, a little khaki. So I think I'm good with the the face. Now I'd like to go into the um, the stand a little bit. Really, not a whole lot I'm gonna do here, except um, try to show areas where the light's hitting. Some edge highlighting here. All right, for the stone down here at the bottom, I'm going to go with a little heavy gray. So go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll go touch it up with a little bit of a black wash. And we will dry brush when we get to go on the whiskey barrel mimic. All right, getting in here with a black wash. There we go. And now I'll just go ahead and let that dry. Finish it up with a final dry brush and then the whiskey barrel mimic is gonna be good to go. So that is all for the Whiskey Barrel Mimic. I hope you enjoyed this one in part two. This one featured a silver, non-metallic metal, and of course all the other trappings that went along with this awesome uh, true miniature, very small piece. In part three, we are going to complete the Treasure Chest Mimic, and for that one, I'm going to feature a gold non-metallic metal first time on the channel i'm going to be doing a gold non-metallic metal so definitely stay tuned for that um but as always i thank you for joining me information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video as is information on how to follow dominic marriott of credit uk and mike donnarumo of mvd studios thank you for watching and i'll see you for the next one